welcome to this session. Today we're going to cover integrations for Oracle Utilities Digital Self-Service. After completing this lesson, you should be able to understand the role of Customer to Meter in the DSS portal, understand the basics of web service integration and the creation of a self-service task, understand the actions that are performed by direct update and self-service tasks and how they differ, understand the supported third-party integrations, and finally, you'll understand OPower Customer Insight Generation through batch integration. First, I'd like to provide a quick overview of DSS integration. The digital self-service portal can be easily integrated with your billing, identity management, and other third-party systems to provide your customers with a seamless experience. DSS transactions can share data bi-directionally with DSS energy management features, Oracle utility systems such as Customer to Meter and Customer Care and Billing, OPower programs, your identity management provider, and other related third-party systems. Let's discuss the DSS portal and Customer to Meter, or C2M, real-time integration. Oracle Utilities Customer to Meter is used as the back-end system that manages all aspects of customer service for the utility. When integrated with Digital Self-Service Transactions, or DSST, C2M performs the validation, processes all types of service requests according to utility workflows, supports customer notification tasks, and supports the extensibility needed to align customer actions with business processes. Communication between DSS and C2M is made through real-time web services. In C2M, the web service request is processed by the XAI inbound service. You can identify all DSS-related web services in C2M by the CX prefix. The service script associated with the XAI inbound service orchestrates the processing. It validates the structure of the request and response schema and maps the elements for each request type invokes the business logic associated with the request, invokes custom extensions in the master configuration, and in many cases, a self-service task is created by the service script. The XML schema defines the inputs and outputs of each service, as well as other processing details. In this example, we're showing the inputs, action, and audit information, the details of the XML response populated with C2M data, and error information if applicable. Request Fulfillment uses the orchestrating service script to invoke the business logic. It creates service tasks and algorithms, as well as handling inquiries and deriving information. Service scripts can also be used to extend the business logic, and if configured, to perform audits for specified requests. Custom extensions are defined in C2M Master Configuration. Master Configuration scripts handle the special logic for processing the requests. Duplication to modify logic is possible, but schema must be maintained. An example of this is using the campaign functionality to determine the information the user must provide to start their service online, such as social security number or driver's license number. The CM Payment Arrangement Eligibility script determines what conditions must be met for a customer to be eligible to enroll in payment arrangements. Let's look at the different DSST features and whether they generate self-service tasks that must be handled by a CSR or they process a direct update in C2M. When a customer wants to change their communication preferences, such as adding a new email address and using that email address to get bill due reminders, the changes are applied directly by Person Contact Insert and then added to Subscription Communication Preferences. On the other hand, Account Linking, Invite Guest User, Start Stop Service, Payments, Budget Enrollment, Payment Arrangement, Auto Pay, and Contact Us will all generate self-service tasks. Paperless Billing and Billing and Payment Related Notifications generate self-service tasks and direct updates 
When customers enroll in paperless billing, their bill route type is immediately changed, and when modifying preferences for billing and payment-related notifications, those subscription preferences are also immediately updated on the account. Next, let's look at common integrations that are used to enhance a customer's online experience with the utility. The first integration to understand is bill file retrieval. DSS provides customers with the ability to view their bills. Because customer billing data storage is typically managed through third-party vendors, the DSS must integrate with the utility's custom solutions through REST APIs. This integration makes it possible for customers to download PDF copies of their bill statement. The Bill File Retrieval API request can be made using the standard HTTP basic authentication. When a customer goes to the DSS Bill Summary and triggers the DSS Bill Download service, DSS sends the bill ID to the third-party bill API. Typically, DSS expects an OK or Not Found response. 200 OK means that the bill retrieval is successful or signals normal health of the health check endpoint. 404 not found means that the bill document for the given bill ID was not found. The next integration to understand is credit card processing. DSS provides utilities with the ability to accept credit card payments online through their payment processor and offers a productized integration with Pimentas that provides one-time and recurring payment processing. DSS uses an AES encrypted token to securely transmit account details. When integrating DSS with Customer Cloud Service, or CCS, CCS also has a productized integration with Paymentus to handle posting and settlement. DSS can support integrations to other payment processors through redirect, in these cases, posting and settlement back to CCS need to be implemented by the utility. Here is an architectural overview of credit card processing with C2M. When a customer navigates to the DSS Payment Summary widget and clicks Make a Payment, they're redirected to the third-party payment processor webpage to complete the transaction for the respective account they were viewing. The payment transaction posts back to C2M so a CSR can see the credited payment on the account in real time. The final integration concept to understand is authentication. As we shared in the Digital Self-Service Authentication video, DSS supports two primary options of authentication integration. Native integration with Oracle Identity Cloud Service, or IDCS, or SAML 2.0 integration with other third-party identity management providers. Functions such as registration, login, and password policy management have different ownership depending on the authentication method selected. In either scenario, the web user identity is mastered in the identity management system and granted access to the digital self-service account information through an authorized token. Let's review DSS's final integration with OPower to provide energy efficiency insights to your customers online. OPower insights are based on utility data such as billing and metering data and data pulled from third-party sources including GIS, parcel, and weather data. Combining this information, a Customer 360 profile is generated and personalized insights and analytics are delivered to customers on the web or through proactive communications to the customer's homes, inboxes, or phones. To integrate OPower Insights with DSST, utilities must use Data Connect. Data Connect is a configurable accelerator that creates flat file extracts of C2M batches to support common extracts. Data Connect supports three categories of extracts customer and premise meter data, billing data, and interval consumption. Data Connect configuration provides a lightweight means of producing both transactional data and master data extract files, including the ongoing extraction and the detection and extraction of corrections. The C2M Consumption Extract Type Admin object enables you to configure the types of service points relevant to the extract. 
which measurements to retrieve based on UOM, TOU, SQI, and how to combine measurements into a single read per device per interval. The billing extract object includes the pre-configuration for integration with OPower and enables you to select the service agreement types that will be included in the extract. Here is a look at the Data Connect to OPower architecture. With C2M on-premises to the left, the data accelerators produce a file sent through the OPower Gateway SFTP and store it in the OPower Customer and Billing Database or Big Data AMI Store, respectively. DSS Energy Management widgets read from OPower Cloud to display insights to customers through the DSS portal. In summary, Today you learned the role of C2M Web Services. You learned which portal actions are orchestrated through a self-service task versus a real-time direct update. You understand the basic integration architecture for bill PDF integration and credit card processing and authentication. And you understand the basic integration architecture for OPower Data Insights. For more information, See the configuration guides, including the Bill Download Integration Guide, in the Digital Self-Service Transactions Library. And also see the Data Transfer Standards Guide in the Oracle Utilities OPower Platform Library. You can find all of these guides in the Oracle Help Center at docs.oracle.com. We hope that this information has been useful and that you have a better understanding of digital self-service integrations. Thanks for watching. Thank you.